Well, a student studying aerospace engineering will be thinking about all the things that can be done using space technologies. Every day, we use the sat-nav to go to new places or, you know, watching satellite television. These are kind of things that we do every day without thinking about that. So I think a student would be interested in figuring out how these technologies are really working. Running a space mission is more than just the engineering. Flying a space satellite requires a huge understanding of the technical details, the electronics, the computer software. Students will be studying aerospace systems engineering and aerospace structures and mechanisms. And then they'll be choosing from a wider range of subjects, including things like electrical engineering, mission control and design, and hydrodynamics. Students will come away with a strong appreciation for all the different aspects of operating in space from designing and building a space mission, from designing and building a space satellite, through to including things like financing a space mission, operating a space mission, and interacting with a wide range of people who work in the space industry, not just within an engineering or science department. I decided to come to the University of Auckland for my course because there's a lot of opportunities here with the space industry in New Zealand being quite new. So there's a lot of opportunities to get involved with industry and see your ideas actually be used in real life. I like being a part of two different faculties because it means I essentially get double the support. So if I can't get an answer to a question from say the physics side, I can ask the engineering side and they might be able to help me out better there. I've decided to come here in Auckland because the space industry in New Zealand has just actually started to bloom and to grow, so there is so much to do and actually cool research to carry out. Being a student here, I actually enjoy the freedom that I have in doing the research. I have a lot of support from my supervisor and guidance, but at the same time, I left basically alone to approach the problem in the way that I like. The Master of Aerospace Engineering is going to make an important contribution because we are giving our students the right skill set to be able to join companies that operate in this sector and in this way they are going to make a significant contribution to solving tomorrow's problems. If you think about you know, the past uh, decades and how aerospace technologies have changed our lives, you know, the air travels that we do every time to go on holiday or the use of space technologies, if we look ahead, we can think that in the next decades, many more things will be possible. And it's difficult to say now exactly what uh, new possibilities there are going to be. We work with industry and commercial entities in the New Zealand space economy to make sure that our graduates are fully prepared for entering into that commercial sector, both nationally and internationally. The world and its societies are facing a number of challenges. Addressing those challenges with technological means, utilising space is one way which we can rise to the challenge. For instance, uh, examining the upper atmosphere of Earth, monitoring Earth from space so that we have the best data to understand how our climate is changing and how our environment is changing. For instance, these are just two examples of why we would want to utilize space for the benefit of everybody on Earth.